Okay, the first thing we need to do is um, save the file and append our name to the end of the file. So do save as. And I'm going to go to the desktop here and uh, append my first and last name. Okay. And we need to change the page orientation. Uh, page layout. Change it to landscape. Change the margins to 0.75 all the way around. Change the font to 10 point Verdana. So let's do a control A and then go to our font, change the size to 10, change the font name to Verdana. And replace the text The Beasts of Tarzan uh, right here with WordArt. So let's go to WordArt on the insert tab. And we're looking for blue. So that narrows it down quite a bit, and we want plastic accent one, plastic bevel with a reflection. This one's got a reflection. This is the one. Now, it ends up pushing this other text over here, so we need to open up a little space here by hitting the Enter key a few times. And then, we need to move it up a little bit. See the anchor there? That tells you which paragraph the word art is being anchored to, and then the next thing is to center it. And uh, the center command doesn't work uh, with word art. You just have to kind of eyeball it. Um, then we need a continuous section break at the beginning of this line. And breaks are on page layout. And a section break, type continuous. And uh, down here I want two columns. And I want a line in between, and you have to go down here to more columns, and there's a checkbox for line in between. Okay. Um, insert a column break before the paragraph that begins the entire affair. So right here, breaks, column break. Okay. For the first 11 lines in column 1, set a left tab stop. This is the first 11 lines. I want a left tab stop at the 0.75 inch mark which would be right here and I want a right tab stop at the 4 inch mark let's go to the right tabs over here and go to the 4 inch mark and I want a dot leader on that one so let's uh, double click on the tab select the 4 inch tab not the 0.75 inch one there's the dot leader click on OK and now I've got the dots for the 11 lines at the bottom, convert the text into a three column table. So let's go down here. And uh, that's on our insert table and convert text to table. And we want the uh, text to be separated where the tab characters are. Click on OK. And then set the widths of this so that they're approximately the same as the text lines up in about the same place up below as it does up above. So let's try that and pull this in. And that's pretty close. The uh, numbers are right aligned on the top, but they're left aligned on the bottom. But that's, uh, that's pretty close. Um, make the text in the first row of the table bold. And you'd also do a control B here. And shade the background a uh, light color gray. So still got that selected. This would be our paint bucket. And we'll pick a light shade of gray. And we will stop there and continue with the rest of it on the second video.